The BA Systems Hexagon Combat Vehicle 90 has been one of the most successful vehicles that's type developed in Europe in the last 30 years. The first version was for the Swedish Army and it's called the CV-9040, armed with a 40mm Bofors gun. Since then it's evolved for the export market and this is the very latest one. This is the CV-9030, armed with an ATK 30mm Mark 40 four cannon which can be upgraded to fire 40 mm ammunition. This particular vehicle has taken part in the trials in the Czech Republic for a replacement for the BMP2. What is interesting about this vehicle is that you can see um, it's got a twin launcher on the right side for spike anti-tank guided missiles and that will enable the platform to engage targets well beyond the name range of its 40mm cannon. Also the 7.62 machine gun is normally mounted coaxial with the main armour. This particular one is the uh, 7.62 chain gun as that is mounted externally and provided with 1,000 rounds of ammunition. So there's no smoke in the turret and also safe space. Also, if you look on the top, it's got a commander's independent sighting system, which is a day camera, a thermal camera and a laser rangefinder, and that will enable the commander to find targets, confirm their hospital and then hand over to the gunner, whose big sight is between the missile launcher and the stabilised sight, and he would actually carry out the target engagement. Also what is interesting about the ve this vehicle, it's got a hard kill defensive aid system, which is the IMI um, Iron Fist. So this is a technology demonstrator for the um, Danish army and if it's successful they will backfeed their fleet. So what does Iron Fist do? It tracks an incoming projectile which could be something like an RPG or something bigger and if it's hostile it will slew to that direction and fire a countermeasure out to neutralise the the incoming warhead. The other thing about this vehicle, you notice, it's got rubber band tracks. They're not called rubber band tracks anymore, they're called composite tracks. All of the Norwegian Army vehicles are fitted with those tracks and the Dutch Army will follow the same. And what do they, those rubber band tracks do? A, they're lighter. B, there's less noise, less vibration, which really has quite an impact on the crew and the electronics and all that side of thing. Also, there's less roller resistance, which means it's more fuel efficient. So, Many countries are moving toward this. For example, all the Canadian M113s, all the Danish M113s are all fitted with rubber band tracks because long term they save money. The CV90 come back from the Czech Republic. It's currently an upgrade program is underway for the um, Swedish Army and they hope in the next four or five months to finish off the um, CV90 upgraded vehicles for the uh, Norwegian Army and they have many upgrades in new cannon, many other advantages, remote weapon stations. So CV90, what you see today is not what you saw 30 years ago because it's really the CV9030 Mark III Plus, electronic architecture and a load of other gizmos.